living with chronic pain for me is sort of like it's like being Sisyphus and pushing that boulder up the hill every single day. It's almost like a blockade and you have to like get over it every morning. You often don't feel the need to celebrate anymore when your bad days are over because you know that they're just gonna come back in like a week's time, a month's time. One in every five children in Canada is living with chronic pain. Pain is one of the most common symptoms of extreme stress on youth. Without treatment, acute pain can become a chronic, long-lasting problem, which can have devastating impacts on quality of life. The key to preventing and reducing chronic pain is early intervention through movement, mind and body techniques, and medication. There were quite a few challenges that affected me during the pandemic as someone living with chronic pain. Um, the first one primarily was during the start of the pandemic, obviously everything was online and it's very difficult to access physiotherapy online. It's very difficult to access um, doctors who specifically need to assess the way your body moves and the way your body feels and the way your body works online. Uh, so I feel like everything that I was working at at that point kind of grinded to a halt. Researchers from across Canada came together to create a national survey on pain management with feedback from more than 150 pediatric chronic pain experts and clinicians, youth and their families. The results provided insight on the barriers to accessing pain management during the COVID-19 pandemic and the challenges faced with the shift to virtual care. The Power Over Pain portal was created to address these challenges and improve access to evidence-based care. It is a centralized virtual pain hub that empowers youth living with chronic pain to track and manage their symptoms and engage with evidence-based pain interventions in a stepped manner. A stepped approach means they're learning to manage pain gradually, one step at a time. The Power Over Pain portal includes four major steps, registration, self-assessment, recommended resources delivered using the stepped care approach, and bi-weekly self-assessments to track progress in pain, mood, and sleep. The account registration helps us learn a little more about youth who are using the portal. This is helpful so that the research team can learn who might find the portal helpful. Next, the self-assessment questionnaires are used to track any changes in a user's pain, mood, and sleep. After the self-assessment, youth will have access to all of the recommended resources. These resources are suggested using the stepped care approach. Step one resources are pain education materials that teach youth more about pain. Learning about pain can help them to understand how pain works. Step two resources are mobile apps, websites, and other interventions that come fully loaded with everything that youth need to know about pain and pain management strategies. The fourth and final part of the portal is the bi-weekly self-assessments. Youth will be asked to complete the same self-assessment every two weeks in order to track their progress in their pain, mood, and sleep. My favorite part of the portal was the tracking. Sometimes when every day is so bad, you can't really like remember the good days, but it kind of, it helps because you're like, hey, you know what, last week was pretty good or Clearing misinformation in terms of pain and surrounding pain uh, will help people learn to cope with their pain in a way that uh, makes sure that they're not afraid. The Power Over Pain portal was designed with collaboration and input from eight youth aged 12 to 23 from across Canada who have diverse lived experience of chronic pain. It's meant that the people involved were interested in hearing real experiences of youth with chronic pain and were interested in adjusting the portal to our needs. Yeah, it was really important for me to partake in it because this is something that could help uh, so many people like me and in just like making it a little bit easier, right? Even if it's just a little bit easier, uh, it could it could really make a difference in someone's life and that was important for me.